Hello there guys and welcome to this Wednesday video. Um, today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a tour of my home studio. I uh, talk about some different things in it and uh, hopefully you guys will learn a few things. Um, if you want to see any of these products in detail, leave me a comment below. Also, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. Alright, so when you first walk in, this is pretty much what you see. I have uh, here my um, Roland TD12 upside down. <laughs> Um, electronic drum set, and this um, has a bunch of different outputs. Um, this has a total of four symbols, and it's really great for audio recording. And I'll get to my audio interface in a second. Um, this here is my Yamaha uh, keyboard. Um, I'm not sure the specific model, but I've seen a lot of people uh, use these on YouTube and um, just um, in general or at, like gigs or whatever. Um, so it's a really great keyboard. Got about 500 different sounds on this thing. If we uh, come up here, we have um, a uh, Gianni guitar, and uh, this was my mom's originally from the uh, 1970s. Um, I don't, I doubt you guys can see it, but there should be like the date in there somewhere. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's been 1971. Um, here is normally where my uh, Gibson Les Paul would go, right there between the two uh, guitars. Um, it's a uh, Gibson Les Paul um, standard. It's a really, it's a, a super lightweight body, which is uh, pretty um, uncommon, especially for people who uh, play Gibsons uh, and Les Pauls in general. They're pretty heavy. Um, but you know, maybe if you guys want to uh, hear more about that in my uh, in a future video, just let me know. Um, here is a very uh, basic guitar. It's like a Leon uh, by Washburn. It's a bass guitar, and uh, it's actually my friend Justice's and. Uh, Click this video to watch him in uh, my man vs. Wild, uh, Wild spoof. That was called Man vs. Wild. Um, also, if you guys look at my room in general, um, my room stuff, it's got a bunch of different artwork in here uh, from around the world. Like, really, that's that's from Germany when I went, went over to Germany, those two things. Um, I have stuff in here from, like, I don't know, like Norway. I think it's like this bottle, that Coca Cola bottle, the tall one. That's from Norway. <laughs> But anyways, um, like here is my Vox Valvetronics um, amp. Um, it's got a bunch of different effects. Um, most of them are digital. Well, this is digital, so <laughs> yeah, it's digital. Um, down here I have a uh, Fender, um, I don't even know, FM65R, whatever that is. Um, when I first started guitar, um, I got this amp just because it has two inputs. And uh, my friends would oftentimes go to my house, and I would just jam out, and uh, I'd use this amp. But <laughs> When I bought it, I didn't know it was uh, 180 watts of power, which is really, um, had, like, very, very loud. Like, this amp is only 30, and that's, like, pretty loud. It rumbles my room, so 180 watts, it's kind of insane. Uh, as far as pedal goes, I just have a, a Boss um, Chromatic Tuner, as well as a Boss um, Super Shifter, which has just, like, a bunch of different effects in it. Uh, I normally have a, uh, um, distortion pedal right there, but my friend needed to borrow that for a gig, so I lent that to him. Um, probably my favorite thing in this room, as far as uh, music goes, is this amplifier. <laughs> I know it kind of sounds crazy, but uh, it's a monitor speaker. Um, it's got 12 three different inputs, um, and it's uh, got some control for the uh, equalization as long as, um, as well as a uh, the drum, as well as the uh, auxiliary. And normally it's a drum amp, and uh, this puts out also uh, 180 watts of power. Um, it's a great amp. I uh, highly recommend it. Simmons, um, it's um, Guitar Center's company. It doesn't cost too much, and it was about like just under 200, so it's fantastic. Um, here is my uh, Fender Squire. It's pretty basic. It's my first guitar I ever had. It's a, a, got a Telecaster neck, along with a, a Strad uh, Stratocaster body. Um, so that's pretty much all the uh, music stuff I have in my room, um, besides that Gibson. <laughs> um, so let's move on to more of the uh, video stuff. Um, first off, if we see here in the reflection, um, that is my Sony SR12 um, camera. It's a fantastic camera. It shoots in HD as well as an ABC HD video format, which is a uh, pretty decent. Although when it comes to editing, it's kind of a real jerk to edit because it um, it makes my computer stop a lot. And uh, I'm gonna get to importing in a second because I import in a special way that's uh, pretty fun. So, after that, um, how about let's come over here and check out my Mac first. Um, this is my very first Mac I ever got. It's a, a MacBook. Um, I got it back in 2007. It's, a, it's only got, like, it's got less than 200 gigabytes of uh, space, <laughs> which really isn't much for uh, HD, fo um, HD footage. So, 
Yeah, but I use it mostly for like recording. Um, if I have like this over here, I can control my um, Big Mac, my Mac Pro, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, so I got some boxes of um, some different like old props and whatnot. I have a, spe uh, a television screen right there that I'm uh, hopefully gonna hook up to my um, big fancy camera that I didn't want to talk about too much um, for the stuff to save up money for it. But I'm pretty much just like hoping to get kind of like a more pro um, indie camera. So now I'm probably the spot where I sit at the most, <laughs> where I spend the most of my time, in this lovely chair right here. Um, so yeah, this is um, a Mac Pro. Uh, this is at least the screen, the actual computer is right down there. Um, but here I've got two fabulous Kirkland um, speakers, or clips speakers. Uh, these are um, by THX, and um, actually Lucas Arts apparently uses these. Um, if we see there, it says Lucas Arts right there. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, they've got really great subwoofer. Um, yeah, the subwoofer can get pretty loud, pretty fast. Not gonna lie. Um, it's got like a super loud control for it. Um, that's the subwoofer right there. And let me tell you, you can just blare. Like I'm not even kidding how loud that thing is. Uh, probably my favorite thing about these uh, speakers is if we come uh, here to the side. Um, we can see that there's a uh, headphone, uh, headphones input, which is kind of sta uh, standard, but over here there's actually an input for like an auxiliary cable, uh, such as like an iPod or something, um, so that when you're like editing and you don't want to like use up um, processor power by running iTunes, you can just plug in your iPhone or your iPod and play some music. So that's pretty fantastic. Um, if we come over here to my audio interface, um, this is the uh, thing that I use for recording bands, um, recording myself for music, or just um, recording audio for uh, the uh, tutorials. Um, I just plug into my mic or um, or my line in right through there. Um, it supplies it with eight different um, channels, uh, fan of power. And uh, this is a PreSonus um, Fire Studio, I believe it's called. We can get it to focus. Fire Studio Project. <laughs> there we go. Um, and yeah, it's got, you know, eight inputs, which I've already said, <laughs> uh, headphones output, and if we come around here to the back, my bad, <laughs> uh, we can see there's a bunch of different inputs, um, along with another firewire cable, and uh, what's really great about this audio interface is you can actually have this one, and put another one right here on top of it, and uh, you can link these two together to have a total of a 16 gigabyte, or a 16 um, channel and firewire uh, interface. You probably go up to like, you know, 32 or something, I don't know. You can just like add more and more of these on. Um, yeah, so my Mac Pro. I'm not going to get into too much detail with this because I already made a video about that. Uh, click that little annotation right there to watch it. It's a uh, video just talking about like a review of it. And there's also one about um, unboxing, which is also right there, so I recommend checking those uh, two things out. Um, as far as microphones go, um, I always use the MXL series. Um, MXL 990 or MXL 995 is what I believe the other model is. Um, these are really great microphones that uh, provide professional quality at around like 100 bucks, uh, 100 bucks for a, a pair of them. So like 50 bucks a piece. It's a really great deal. Um, how do I recommend those? Um, oh yeah, importing footage. This is what I want, oh, want to talk about a lot. Um, ABCHD um, is really great because it um, provides individual um, files. However, it is kind of a jerk to edit because it's like um, it lags a lot, at least on my computer. And so uh, one thing that I did was I uh, opened up um, Final Cut and I um, set it so that whenever um, new footage is imported, it goes straight to this hard drive. This uh, two terabyte, so that's like two thousand gigabytes, I believe. Two thousand gigabyte hard drive. Um, it's you know fantastic. I've only filled up about half of it, and just really great. Um, so yeah, that's that. And if you guys want to see uh, more of these uh, videos or um, ask me a question about what I have in my studio, leave me a comment down below in the uh, underbar or whatever. I don't even know. But yeah, so I'll see you guys on Friday with another Final Cut tutorial. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. Tell me guys what you guys thought about this video. It's a little bit different than usual. I'll see you guys later.